Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and today I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful pasta dish. Except, we're not really going to be using pasta because we're going to be using this and we're going to be turning it into pasta. This, as you may know, is what I like to call a good Friday night. It's a zucchini! It's a zucchini! And what we do with this is we're going to put this through a spiralizer and we're going to turn it into, well, you guessed it, zoodles! Because that's zucchini and noodles combined to zoodles. I didn't make that up, obviously, but you know. Oh, by the way, these are also called courgette in like France or the UK. They Call zucchini there, a courgette. It looks like courgette. And actually, this doesn't even require your instant pot at all. I just figured we're gonna be healthy because I'm gonna show you how we make pasta out of zucchini. So easy. And all it takes is this Kitchen Supreme Spiral Slice. You can get it on Amazon, guys. It is not even expensive at all, and it's amazing. And you can also slice either a little thicker or a little thinner in terms of your strips. That's what both ends are. I'm gonna show you how to use this. It couldn't be easier, and it's a fabulous addition to your kitchen. So guys, let's make some noodles out of zucchini. Zoodles. Um, so I'm gonna start with however many zucchini you want, all right? Any size zucchini will really do. Just make sure it fits inside of your spiralizer like this. Speaking of which, guys, this Kitchen Supreme Spiral Slicer is an incredible value. It retails at under 15 bucks on Amazon, and it comes with the spiralizer itself. Not only just that, where you have two edges, you can have a thicker cut of noodles or a thinner cut, but it also comes with a peeler to peel the zucchini or whatever squash you're using, as well as a little thing here to clinch onto the nubbin and when you get close to the end, and eat easier to turn that way, that's handy. And the most important thing it comes with is a mascara brush, so you can mascara your eyes while you're spiralizing. No, I'm just kidding. This thing is here actually to clean out any gunk that gets stuck inside of the little blades here when it spiralizes. Super handy, super convenient. But wait, there's more. As an added bonus, it comes with a little carrying bag, so you can put your spiralizer in there, as well as the peeler, goes right in there, and the little mascara brush, I'm just a little cleaner, and the little nubbin holder. And it comes in there, and you can just put it in the bag and it transports so easily. So let's say I'm going to mom's house to cook. Great, your little spiralizer is following you all the way there. But before we start spiralizing, what we want to do is we want to peel our zucchinis. There we go. So now I'm gonna take my spiralizer, choose which end you want, either thicker or thinner noodles, pop it in, and then just simply turn it clockwise. And guys, look at this. Zoodles coming out like that, just like nothing. Just they simply come right out. All I'm doing is just turning my zucchini or my courgette right inside, and I'm having instant noodles made. And now I'm doing a second zucchini, and I'm doing it on the thinner side, so we have even thinner noodles this time. I'm doing a little bit of a mix and match, you see? And it's just so easy. All you have to do is turn the zucchini, and it literally just spiralizes into noodles right inside of a bowl. Put a bowl under it if you want to catch everything. So incredibly easy. It's like making pasta without any of the dough work, you know what I mean? Who doesn't love that? Right, and look at this, look at that. Look at how it cored everything so perfectly. It's incredible how it does that. So easy, so convenient, so quick, and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful noodles now. And we are ready to go, guys. All we have to do now is just toss this up in our Instant Pot on saute with some sauce. And because zucchini is a super watery vegetable, we want to cook them relatively quickly from the time that we've zoodalized them. So let's get them in the Instant Pot and add a little marinara sauce and make some delicious pasta, why don't we? So I'm gonna go to the Instant Pot and I'm gonna add in some of my favorite jarred marinara sauce, Victoria White Linen. You can get this at Costco. And supermarkets as well carry Victoria. It might not say White Linen, it might just say marinara, but it's the same thing. Just add a little bit of that to the pot so it gets nice and heated up. Not too much, just like that, that's plenty. Now, even though we're not gonna be using our Instant Pot to do any pressure cooking, the saute button is an excellent way to be able to use the Instant Pot to just simply use it as if it's a pot on the stove and not have to actually go to the stove, or some people don't have stoves. So I wanna hit the saute button and just adjust so I'm on the more or the high setting. Again, no pressure cooking, but a wonderful use of just using saute as using it as if it's a pot on the stove top. And then once our sauce is bubbling, let's add in our zoodles. And let's just lightly toss our zoodles up with the sauce. And that's really all there is to this, guys. Just spiralizing some zucchini, which takes two seconds, heating up a little marinara sauce, which takes another two seconds, and then mixing them together, and then get them nice and heated up together. And this looks like linguine, does it not? It looks like linguine. It, you wouldn't even be able to tell. So let's just let it cook for about a minute or two with the sauce, and it softens up a little bit that way, and then we're ready to serve. And this is looking good, so I'm gonna turn the heat off of the pot, and I'm just gonna simply take this and put it in the bowl and eat it. Now let's turn our pot off. 
And then let's just place our zucchini noodles in a bowl. And it literally looks so much like linguine, it's almost impossible to tell. And there we go. We can top it off with a little Parmesan if we want. A little bit of Parmesan, and now we are ready to serve. All right, here we go, guys. Zucchini noodles marinara. Looks exactly like pasta. Let's try it out. It tastes like an al dente linguine. You can't even tell. You cannot even tell that it's not like a pasta noodle because pasta noodles don't really have much of a flavor anyway and neither do zucchini to tell you the truth. But the point is that it's a wonderful substitution. I mean, could you tell looking at this that this wasn't linguine? I keep saying it over and over, but could you? Because honestly, I'm here live with it and I couldn't tell. It looks exactly like this stuff and it's a phenomenal, phenomenal solution just like a spaghetti squash is to actual pasta. Even though in my opinion, nothing will beat regular pasta, but then again, I would be the size of a hot air balloon if I ate it every single day. And you know me and my pasta dishes and my love for them. Let's try this out again. Oh man, look at this. Delicious, delicious, delicious pasta. Mm. Squash is the best substitute for a pasta. Really, it truly is. I absolutely adore this dish. And you can see, it barely requires any cooking. It's literally just spiralizing a zucchini, heating up some marinara sauce, and then tossing the zucchini in with the sauce to get the zucchini heated up a little bit for a few minutes, and then presto, zucchini pasta ready to serve. Guys, if you enjoy these recipes, go to PressureLuckCooking.com for tons of recipes. As you can see, we're entering summer, so there's a lot of healthy ones coming your way, with a few comfort ones as well. You know me and my comfort recipes. Go to Facebook.com slash PressureLuckCooking and like that page for any new recipes that drop, tips, humor, sales, and items. And at PressureLuck to subscribe to me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Guys, thank you so much again for all of your support. And trick whoever in your family hates squash but loves pasta, because guys, that's a moray. Do the lady in the tram thing. You could eat one of you could take the end of this. It's that good and that long. Mm.